Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 7 and 8 of Summertime Rendering. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 in 3, 2, 1, go. Nah, babe, nah. You've gone back in time. Oh, she about. <gasps> oh! She's so badass. Like, Do not mind me. I'm I'm just, you know, putting chapstick and lip gloss on. <laughs> My lips are like hella chapped and I'm like, oh Okay. <laughs> so I'm not gonna be like, Deja really? <laughs> I'm a girl, duh. And in a way, that's confidential. We can't talk about that. Of course. Basically. But see, okay, here, here's my thing. What if, just, you know, big old what if, you know, maybe the shadows over here and they're listening to this shit. Be like, hmm, you know what? What if y'all don't know? We can make double copies, triple copies, quadruple freaking copies. <laughs> And we need to avoid all of that. That and mother. Mm. 
-hmm. So that you don't fail and that we succeed. And it sucks that the fact is that she has to kill her best friend, but that's not her friend anymore. Dinner. Holy shit. <laughs> Don't call that thing your mama, honey, because you about to be next. <laughs> Yeah. Jesus. All right, where's the child? Don't hesitate because that's a child. Hmm. Oh, was killed by a shadow.
you'd get the chopsticks and be like, ah! <laughs> There you go. Mm. And, and don't stop. Once again, that ain't a child anymore. God, this girl. Is that a staple gun? What if that's a trap though? Of course it was. Mm hmm And she won't hesitate this time. Jesus. Hey, get the staple gun ready. Oh, a nail gun. Yeah. Please get that little bitch. <laughs> and I hate Nicole. It's been Kill her. You telling me all them shots ain't working? Oh. I mean, that's smart. Hold her behind down. Yeah, because she can't move now. Well, yeah, what did you think they were going to do?
A.K.A. that summoning thing that your mother did in the previous two episodes. Yeah, but you're not the real person! Yeah, oh, he a big fan, let's just say that. <laughs> Well, that's the best way to tell the difference between the two. I mean, you know, when she's her brother, she has her hair up. And when she's herself, her hair's down. And plus, she's more cold as herself. Whether as with her split, her blah, 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 I can't speak. split personality with her brother, her brother is more caring. But still badass. Get right, can you do that shit? That's like over here saying, you know, because he's also voiced by the same freaking person. Can you kill Nesuko? Can you? If you could. If you had to. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Mio? Mio. You can't do that. You almost made me have a panic attack, honey. Oh, honey.
Go on, let go. <laughs> Girl, how the hell you getting dang house? You know, how you get in the house and I nobody else knows it's a girl. <laughs> but see, here, here's the big thing. So yeah, going into the previous two episodes and seeing how special Ushino's shadow is and how she is different from most of the shadows. One, because she isn't evil. She's not trying to continuously copy um and you know kill all these other people on this island so that does mean that yeah number one she is different she is special but why is she special is it because Ushino's spirit is still you know she has the unfinished business with Shin and having Shin saving Neo and then once that is officially resolved in the in this series when we do get to the end of this it is that when her spirit is fought or really her soul officially going to move on because it once again it's a lot of unanswered questions on it and it's only episode seven now I, i'm not mad at the split personality thing i think that's a really interesting twist on um what's her face's character and she's doing it good as someone who has seen and seen her in other things and heard her say you in other things um and how when she plays maybe like a female as role, whether she is playing like Kyoko Kirigiri or any of my other personal favorite roles that she's done versus playing a guy character. Because I think it's been like a hot minute since I've seen her say you do like a male role. Um, she did. She knocked that out of the park because I was not expecting her to do all the things that she did and how the way that she voiced that like, ma'am. Ma'am, I mean, seriously, this is the same woman who is in Bang Dream, and she goes back and forth between being this lovable character to sometimes being a badass to, you know, being a princely role. And I'm like, ma'am, I can't with you. You gotta stop. Like, please. <laughs> like, oh. Uh. But yeah, like, seriously, this was a really good episode. And I like the fact that, you know, um,. Shin is able to meet his idol, especially with the, how the previous episode ended. And, and it's just, it feels right now that we have three people working together and initially instead of just Shin from the beginning and such. But I'm hoping that this doesn't, you know, bite them in the butt later on. I mean, because we already know in one timeline, one of many timelines that they failed that, you know, she had to kill him. And then she disappears, disappears, what the fuck, disappears. So, and then you have the mother and the four-armed shadow and what their things are going to be, you know, their plans are. There's, a, like, once again, a lot of unanswered questions, but yes, good show, good show. The gore, the kills today, yes, 10 out of 10, definitely will recommend. Alright, go ahead and pause the video and see you guys in one second for episode 8. <laughs> Alrighty, episode 8 in 3, 2, 1, go.
shall we know? Okay, she didn't see her. That's right. It's just, it's so funny because, I mean, she's a shadow. Girl, you, you shouldn't be able to eat. But she can and she is. Yeah, meaning she's not that bad.
Because he can. If only you told her. Oh my god. No, that hurts. So. It might not be a next time. Mm hmm That's why you have to be in the moment. Light of her. Yeah, but see, y'all don't know about this dang shadow that is apparently in the house, possibly. <laughs> we're not going, we're not talking about this. Hello, you know, enemy, Beano, Beano. <laughs>
No, that's Shadow. That's Shadow. No, unfortunately, you can't. That was a nice shot. A very nice shot. That's a 10 out of 10 shot. Okay. Wait, no, 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 no. No. Yes, but she's different. See, now we need to see an episode all on her the day um, Ushino called her.
Bam. But she's still a shadow. Mm hmm. Because, too, we can't really, you know, kill Shin and then make him go back into him again and then for Ushino to be quote unquote okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Okay. Huh? <laughs> yeah, just with only one arm. Yeah, I would be too.
Oh. Okay. Make sure you unlock your phone so that they can use your phone. Y'all really just did that, didn't y'all? Y'all did that. Y'all really did that. That's not fucking cool. That is not fucking cool. You know how I feel about cliffhangers. You don't end something like that. Like, no. Okay? Nah. Nah, 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 Maybe if I have time tomorrow, I'll watch the next two episodes. Because, I mean, it's only Thursday. It's only the third. And I do want to edit both of these and get these out tomorrow. At least by the time I come home from work. And then if I have time, which I kind of should. Even though I kind of really want to get my nails done tomorrow. Um, maybe, yeah. I'll watch it. Because, like, I end. <laughs> you can't end like that. Okay, yeah, that's a absolutely not. No, you can't do that. That's so mean. Like, ooh, big old F you, DJ. Like, no, I can't even imagine getting to this episode and you're like, okay, yeah, we're going to hit play. And then psych, you got to wait till next week to see what happens. Like, ooh, if I was watching this week after week and I got to that episode, I would have been like, this bullshit. Exactly how I feel right now. Fall my tears. Okay, so like here, here's the big thing of what I think is going to show up. One, we're going to see either the shadow that Ushino saw before she died or something else. Like something out of the ordinary where it's like everybody's going to be like, what the heck is that? And such. Who freaking knows? But... A big but but now that you know best girl has met shadow you know and like immediately wanted to kill her like oh and shin is like no 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 don't do that like hey 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 she a little special she not like everyone else you know hey she doesn't want to kill us yet um but once again that does leave the question on why why doesn't she why is she not like all the other shadows wanting to make copies of someone because she can't even make copies so once again she is a very interesting special case of a shadow um and such i do also love that he you know he was like hey btw you you know if you go into the woods you know <laughs> me was gonna kill you <laughs> so don't go to the woods i love how he warned her, warned her that was cute i mean because Right now, she, it's more of like her brother doesn't really try, well, it's more of both of them. Both the brother and the sister together in their uh, split personality don't really trust Shin after the fact that he sided with Shadow Ushino. And I mean, I would feel the same way as well if I was in her shoes because the fact is you, you worked with someone for an episode. You were able to get some ish done together. But now because... He stopped you from killing this other shadow because it's like, oh, hey, she's different. Yeah, I got to kind of look at him some type of way. And I completely understand it where she's like, okay, I don't want to work with you right now. But something tells me that when we get to maybe the halfway point of this, that's when they're probably going to meet up again. We're going to talk about a lot of things because the biggest thing is stopping the festival and such. And now that show officially knows about Ushino, like anything can happen right now. We can go left, we can go right, we can go backwards, forwards, whatever. I have no idea what is going to happen next because once again, I feel like this show goes this way and then it just completely goes somewhere else. And I'm just like, where are we going now? <laughs> 
But other than that, guys, that is where I actually read towards episode 7 and 8 of Summertime Rendering. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Do my module squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for my Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 9 and 10. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!